What if I told you there's an easy and seamless way to save and compare multiple versions of your color grades in Final Cut Pro? And even better, by seamless, I truly mean seamless. This is designed to work with the magnetic timeline. So let's free up the timeline a little bit and have a look at this shot. As you can see in this shot, I have adjusted the black point and the white point, effectively increasing the contrast in the shot. This is how it looked before and this is how it looks now. Let's show the video inspector. As you can see, there is nothing else going on. Let's say I want to create another version. I just go to clip, audition and select duplicate as audition. Or I could also press alt Y. Here we go. As you can see, this clip has now a little spotlight icon here, indicating that this is an audition. To view your different versions, you can right click, audition and select next pick or previous pick. Alternatively, the shortcut would be control, Alt, left arrow or control, Alt and right arrow. Let's go out of this menu again. You could also press Y to bring up this little dialog. You can see I can bring up this version and this version. To make this a little bit more obvious, I will add another instance of color wheels like so and introduce a strong color cast. So if I now press Y, you can see this version with the strong color cast and this version without the color cast. Let's go to the inspector. As you can see, this version is unaltered, whereas this version has the second instance of color wheels. Also, you can scrub through your versions right in this dialog window like this. Let's close this window. As mentioned in the beginning, this feature works with the magnetic timeline at heart. I can duplicate this clip, I can trim it, I can also blade it like so. And as you can see, we can still access the audition. I can just press Y and here are my versions. Let's close this and get rid of these copies. Let's go back to this shot and let's pretend I want to finalize this audition. So let's say I like this version better. Then I can click done, right click, audition and finalize audition. Or use the shortcut Alt Shift Y. This now got rid of the other version. The beauty of this feature is that it works with adjustment layers too. Let's have a look. I double tap my timeline to zoom out and first I will select my adjustment layer. As you can see, there's a very simple color grade going on here. The last instance of this simple color grade is a saturation adjustment. Without the adjustment, with the adjustment. Let's say I'm grading this project and I want to compare two methods of saturation. One method is just by increasing the saturation with the color wheels and another method would be using subtractive saturation, also known as density. Let's start by creating an audition from this version. I press Alt Y. As you can see, the adjustment layer now got this spotlight icon. Now let's go to my hero frame, which is this one. I go to my grade adjustment layer and press Y. I make sure I'm on the copy. As you can see, the version says copy one. I click done. Then let's get rid of the saturation adjustment and use my density plugin instead. I will increase the density like so. Maybe 55 is a good value. To compare these versions, I will now press Y and use my arrow key. This is saturation and this is density. If I don't want to make a decision today, it would be great to save these versions with some meaningful names. Okay, so let's open up the index. I will drag out the name column and double click in here. As you can see, copy one is the version with our density plugin. So I will double click in here and call this density. Now I select my adjustment layer, press Y and switch to the other version. You can see the density tag disappeared here. I click done, double click in here and call this saturation. As you can see, the name updates on the adjustment layer as well. So if I now press Y and switch between the versions, you can see the name updates accordingly. Density, saturation, density, and back to saturation. If you have multiple versions of color grades for multiple clips, it would be great to be able to find them very quickly. And we can do just that using the index. In the index, make sure clips is selected and just type auditions. And you can see all clips with this little spotlight icon will appear. If I right click on this adjustment layer, audition and select finalize audition, you can see it disappears from the index because this is no longer an audition. Remember, finalizing the audition means we get rid of all of the other versions. As you can see, this tool is incredibly powerful, especially when it comes to comparing different LUTs or trying to decide on a look or trying different methods of a grade. And if you want to learn more about subtractive saturation or so-called density, you should watch this video next.